Have you just failed the emissions test in your state? A failed inspection can be annoying, expensive, and inconvenient. The test is in place for a reason, to reduce the environmental impact of your car, even though not all states require it. This video examines the most frequent causes of emissions test failure, the consequences of failing, and strategies to significantly improve your chances of passing your subsequent emissions test. And just before we start, please make sure you've subscribed to the channel bad fuel injector you may have an excessively rich air fuel mixture if your fuel injector has failed or is not functioning as the engineers intended your car will produce more carbon dioxide than usual if there is an excess of fuel that is not burned during a typical combustion cycle this carbon dioxide will then be released as soon as it exits your tailpipe there's no doubt that an emissions test will reveal this Faulty air intake levels. Your air intake system, primarily the air filter, may be obstructed, unclean, or not operating properly if your test results show abnormal levels of hydrocarbons or carbon monoxide. Your fuel air mixture will become lean as a result. Higher levels of greenhouse gases will be released as a result of the unburned fuel exploding in your exhaust system. Check engine light. You will fail an emissions test if your check engine light is on, whether for one of the reasons listed above or for some other reason. Although you can temporarily turn off the check engine light by resetting it, this won't help you pass because it will usually put your car in a not ready state until different sensors have accumulated data from regular driving. Any issues that initially triggered the check engine light will probably resurface along with the light after after that data is recorded, numerous fault codes related to emissions could show up. P0141, 0410, 0411, 0430, and 0449 are a few of these. Bad oxygen sensor, your engine will lean out or reduce the amount of fuel that is sent into your cylinders if the sensor that controls your oxygen levels malfunctions. Your car will go into limp mode as a result, which causes it to lose a lot of power and is only intended to get you to the mechanic for an inspection. How will your engine's computer determine whether it is running within the proper tolerances if your sensor is malfunctioning? You will fail an emissions test as a result of this. Loose or leaking gas cap. Although it's easier to fix yourself, this occurs more frequently than you might imagine. First, check that the fuel cap is securely fastened. When it's properly tightened, many cars will have an audible click. Examine the seal for any tears or cracks if it seems tight. Fuel vapors may leak out of the gasket as it deteriorates over time. In the worst situation, replacing the cap is necessary, but it's inexpensive and simple enough for practically anyone to do on their own. How to improve your odds of passing an emissions test preventative maintenance and although it may seem like common sense routine maintenance is an easy method to ensure that no major persistent emissions problems arise in the future this is how it goes simply replace your oxygen sensor clean your fuel injectors and get your air filter changed if both mechanics you saw never just one recommend it warm up your car before driving before you speed out of the driveway or parking lot turn on your car and let it idle for a while Simply drive slowly out of the parking lot and onto the main drag when you're ready to leave. As you enjoy your morning coffee, let the car accelerate however it pleases and allow the transmission to gradually warm up. Follow emissions recommendation. You should get your emissions equipment replaced or fixed if it has been removed or tampered with. Since something else usually breaks first, junkyards are generally good places to look for emissions equipment. The first thing the emissions inspection center will notice when you bring your car in is if you see blue or white smoke coming out of the back of your exhaust system. Get that checked out. Has your vehicle's scent changed recently? All things considered, our noses are pretty good, so follow your instincts. Do some research and come up with a new strategy if it smells like oil, too many fumes are just off. Clear your check engine light. You are unlikely to pass an emissions test if that light is always on. It typically indicates a malfunctioning oxygen sensor, which may necessitate a more expensive replacement of the catalytic converter. In some places, that portion alone now costs more than $2,000. Do you think it's worth it? Check coolant levels. Your cooling system will have to work harder than usual because the test is conducted while the vehicle is stationary, which prevents airflow from flowing in and out of the engine bay as it normally would. You can probably see where this is going, but your engine won't cool down sufficiently if your coolant is dirty. Emissions may increase as a result. Change your oil. You should change your oil before you go in for an emissions inspection if you're getting close to the 5,000, 7,000 mile mark. If dirty oil gets into your crankcase, it contains even more pollutants and particulates that will be visible in your emissions. You are less likely to be burning off chemicals that the emissions inspectors will notice if you get your oil changed. Check fuel levels. Insufficient gas in your tank may cause your fuel pump to become exposed. This implies that vapors rather than just liquid fuel may enter the fuel line. You will fail the test if your combustion process produces more vapors than is typically expected. 
Fill up your tires. Verify that the tires are inflated to the recommended factory pressures. This is because in order to simulate forward motion, the majority of tests are now conducted on dynamometers. This is an attempt to circumvent automakers' attempts to obstruct emissions testing technology while at rest, while allowing you to pollute as much as you like while driving. Your engine won't have to work as hard and release as many greenhouse gases and particulates if your tires are full. Hope the information is helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.